Welcome to Controls Explorer. In this video, we will show you how to create an alarm and display in Allen Bradley HMI Panel View Plus. So what we have today with us is Allen Bradley HMI Panel View Plus 7 for that software, Factory, TalkView Studio, and RS Logics 5000. So let's get started here. The first thing we are going to do, open RS Logics 5000 and create some alarm tags in the PLC code. Now, for this example, we have already created our alarm tag is a double integer controller tag named HMI alarm tag. Over here, you can see motor overload alarm or e-stop alarm. Those actually tags are made alias to our alarm tag that is HMI alarm tag dot zero dot one it can go all the way to dot 31 being a double integer we can create definitely more than one double integer alarm tag what I mean that our alarm limitations are not from 0 to 31 or 32 alarms but we can create multiple tags well next let us go to the controller tags and find out more so this is the controller tags and this is our HMI alarm tag double integer so let's expand it now this has got 32 bit 0 to 31 and let's see what happens let us make motor OLR alarm as true which is alias to tag 0 so now the tag 0 is set as 1 well let's make the same thing for the other one which is e stop alarm now see the tag 1 is set as true Next, let's open up the HMI page now. First, create a new page for the alarm. So this is what a new page. Next, we are going to configure alarm. So select alarm setup, right click open. So this is the alarm window. Once again, look into the PLC. This is the, our alarm tag, double integer 0 to 31. So we are adding the tag right over here. Once again, if you do not find your tag, please refresh it. All right. So this is what the HMI alarm tag, which is double integer once again. And we have added this alarm HMI alarm tag. Next, we have to do, we have to change it to beat that is zero to 31. And this is where we are going to type our alarm text. First thing is the HMI alarm tag, the trigger value, it should be one and point to be noted here. When in PLC, the tag is bit zero, in HMI, it is bit one. So tag value point zero, point one, which is a motor overload alarm same thing over here the tag value is 2 that is beat 1 in PLC in HMI is 2 that is the e-stop alarm once again the trigger value 1 and 2 in the HMI in the PLC is a 0 and 1 all right so we are done with this configuration hit ok next we will be inserting the alarm whether in a new page or or the blank page we have created so now go to objects next select advanced next alarm and we are selecting alarm list for this example so select alarm list and place it over here this is the properties window we are not doing anything here at this point with the properties window. Let's now go to once again to the alarm page and this time let's insert an alarm banner. Again, we are not doing anything with the properties window. Save the project, give a name. So this is the way we create alarm in a HMI 
like Panel View Plus of Alan Bradley, but keep one thing in mind, the alarm list as well as alarm banner, please do not keep in the same page. This is nothing but just for the sake of example. Thanks for watching this video and if you have any question, please do write to us. Tech support at controls-explorer.com and we would be more than happy to work with you. Once again, thank you so much and bye now.